Hey RC buddies out there in the crawler world. Uh, it's Tom with Tatch BRC Rock Crawlers. Uh, today I am uh, working on my son's truck. Uh, he has a uh, BRX 70 in the back or well it was a 90 and I threw a conversion kit on there to drop it down to a, a 70 to tuck the dualies in that I added. And uh, he has a I believe it's a Dana 44 in the front uh, or a D44. It was the machined one that's been long discontinued. And even with just a, a stock $19 uh, Holmes Hobbies um, Crawlmaster motor, um, it just constantly snaps the pins on the CVDs in the front. So I picked him up a fat axle, a BRX 90. And uh, I have these axles on probably four trucks, if I remember right. Uh, two trail finders and two other rigs, I believe. And uh, you can now get them in portals, but this is not a portal. Uh, this is the regular ones. And uh, I do love the portals that they make. They, to me, they're the best ones out there because they're not the ones that normally have a regular gear and then the big gear. It's actually a true portal with the two counter gears, which spreads the load, and they're very strong. I believe they're 32 pitch, too, so that makes them stronger. These run the 10-2 and 10-3 style ring and pinion, and they have... Don't quote me, I might be off the two or two, uh, one or two teeth, but they have a 270, a three to one, like a 330, a 355, a 374, or 375, and a 410. And they're keyed, so they're really strong. And, uh, but anyway, let's get the sucker open. Uh, they come pretty well oiled, and I haven't had to shim the ring and pinion so far on any of my sets here we go and they have some they have a great turning radius this is what i like you pull these off of here or you can even leave them on it'll give you a little bit more lift but they are literally leaf spring ready just the way they are it's the same width as a trail finder so if you want to run these axles on a leaf rig uh, they bolt right up uh, very easy and uh, the steering axle the steering angle is just incredible and it's a high pinion uh, on the two speed trail finders the kits your the it puts the drive shaft up pretty high and it will hit your transmission but I have one on my two speed and it's fine uh, even though it hits um, on the single speed, it doesn't, so you don't have to worry about that. Most guys have single speeds these days. And it comes with shims, really nice shims, if you want to shim it, if you think you need it, but I don't think you will. And it comes with all your links, comes with your hexes, and your ball joints. Well, I'm going to get this put on, uh, see if there's any modifying I might have to do. Because my son's truck is three link in the front. So I haven't put these on a three link trail finder yet. So I don't know if I'm going to have to lengthen or shorten anything or if I could use these. Um, I'm a bigger fan of the Traxxas ball joints. So if I have to swap anything out to the Traxxas ball joints, I will. But I'm going to get these on and I'll show you when I'm done or if, I, if there's any modifications I have to do. Okay, so far the way I have this rig set up because a lot of it is I move things around and to suit my need. Uh, the way I, you know, where I put the servo, things like that. I have my servo, you can see it, it's on top. Normally I put the servo underneath, but this is on top. I have a very long servo arm. I, uh, I trimmed it down a while back while, as I was building it and I countersink. The screws, I do that because usually I do the motor drop, but I didn't do the motor drop on this rig because it's linked. So anyway, while installing the axle, I, this was, <clears throat> your pan hard was really close 
to the upper links, you know, upper link mount. So I shaved it. You can see how I just barely shaved it with my Dremel tool. And so far I had to put a Traxxas long ball joint on this old, you know, steering link. Uh, that's also an old Traxxas steering link also. Um, I don't have the part number, sorry. If I do, then I'll put it in the drop down. And to raise up, um, to raise up the pan hard, I, I put a spacer here, uh, the ones with the, uh, what do they call those collar stops? And I believe it's roughly just, just under a quarter inch. It might be a quarter inch, but I mean, you know, you can get spacers anywhere. Uh, Home Depot, whatever. Okay, after uh, spacing that out, the Panhard bar, uh, it's still hitting. It's still hitting right here. So I slightly bent it, and uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, I have uh, the BRX90 assembled, and. Uh, it went together pretty easy. I did change out some ball joints to Traxxas ball joints at the end. I had to use one of the Boom Racing spacers that came with the kit to space it out. I would say that's about an eighth of an inch. Um, let's see what else. Um, I noticed that, which is which isn't Boom Racing's problem, it's RC Foil Drives. But these were super tight, so I had to, the ball joints were super tight, so I had to get them a little loose. Um, I have to adjust this, you know, my uh, my steering rod. Let's see what else. Um, this is the way I did the links. There you go. I did both of them. I did both the link and the shock on the outside instead of running one link on the inside and the shock on the outside because I would have to run a spacer on the shock. This way I don't have to and the links still line up really nicely. Um, these spacers here came from my son's, my oldest son's original AX10 uh, Scorpion. And I put those on there because on the leaf spring trail finders, including the three link setup, it kicks the axle towards the cab. And uh, I don't like that. You know, I want it more towards the bumper. Uh, better approach angle. Uh, you can trim the front of the cab if you get too far. But the problems I had putting this on probably contributed to some of those minor modifications I had to make which you might not have to if you're just running a regular three link but uh, I had to trim some material off of the servo horn right here I just barely slightly bent the pan hard bar to clear and then I had to do some shaving let's see if I can get that get that focused in right there I had to do some shaving with the sand tool on here so the pan hard wouldn't hit on full compression and wouldn't hit the steering, I mean, uh, hit the steering horn. Uh, I think that's about it. I'm going to get the tires on, uh, check the height and everything. And if it's too tall, I can always, I could always come up here and go up to the next notch up. And, uh, I'll take it for a drive. Got the tires on, got the servo horn, or got the link adjusted. There's no binding, it flexes nice. Compression, nothing hits. And let's take it for a test drive.